Silva. Once again, these two lightweights weighed 155 pounds. First up in the blue corner, he's 34 years old and fights for AKA out of San Jose. His professional record is six and seven. He is Thomas Dion. Thomas Dion, fighting out of AKA. Looking to pick up him. His opponent even had his corner. record of six and six wins, seven losses. Twenty-seven years long. old, fighting for Costa Jiu-Jitsu and PF MMA out of Fairfield, California. His professional record is twenty-one and five. He is Fabricio Guerrero Silva. Tonight is Josh Rosenthal. Here and the go. cage door is locked. Here we go, let's go, guys. And they touch gloves, and we are underway for the first of a potential three rounds. Right away, they're trading blows. Oh, oh huge big shots, shots landing by both men. <laughs> Man, both these guys are coming in hot. I love it. Oh, nice leg kick. That was loud. And I believe, uh, believe uh, Fabricio made the move to the States from Bra Brazil. I believe so. Brazil. He oh. fought on the last URCC USA card as well back in January of 2017. Ah, that's right. That's right. Let's get a hip toss coming in here. That'd be nice. Get that. Uh, Ooh, attempted knee to the head by Silva. Now, again, this is a lightweight bout. Both guys seem to be evenly matched with height and reach. Yeah, both men incredibly strong, if I might add. Now, what I noticed with uh, Thomas, he has a uh, good takedown defense. Uh, from the past fights that I watched and everything, he seems to be very, very, very difficult to take down. Not many guys have been able to take him down. Yeah, those AKA wrestlers, man. There's something about the wrestling at AKA. Well, you got guys like Daniel Cormier and uh, Deron Wynn that, uh, well, I mean, not just Deron Wynn, but DC started the movement to go to AKA with all these high-level wrestlers. He's been recruiting, it seems like. Yeah, looks like it. Nice left hand by Silva. You know, AKA had guys that were, uh, well, you know what? I can't even say that uh, DC is the one that started the movement. It was uh, uh, Josh Koscik was the first. Uh, Legit wrestler, I believe, that was at AK. I believe so. No, uh, obviously no longer fighting. I believe his last fight was in Bellator. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's retired just yet, though. You know, Josh Koscheck is just one of those guys that you just really have to force him to retire because they'll fight for the rest of their lives if you let them. Yeah. They just love it. That fire just never dies. Yep, yep, yep. It's, it's sad to see. It's sad, sad though, because you don't really want to see those guys fight anymore. You really don't want to see them fight anymore. Guys like Mark Hunt. CTE Josh is real, man. It is, yeah. And that's the price a lot of these guys pay. Like you know, we we know the uh, we know the price. We do, yep. and we're willing to pay it. So right now, Silva looking to work from full guard. He needs to close that guard for a submission. He has very good jujitsu. Black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is silver. You can tell when a guy is really good on the ground. He keeps his composure. Doesn't get really uh, doesn't, flop doesn't flail. Doesn't yeah. really scramble. He likes to sit in the guard and, and work. He's just waiting. He's just waiting for Thomas to uh, slip up. There he goes. He's just so calm in his uh, his submission attempts. Thomas is doing a good job by like. Not letting Silva really get in the groove on the ground. He's kind of making him keep a closed guard. He's keeping his hands busy, keeping him close. Because what you don't want to do is when you got a guy like Silva is put your hands on the mat. Oh, nice, nice shot, shot by Thomas. landed by Thomas. Uh, return elbow by Silva. Yes, 
is where you got to be careful. looking to sweep his opponent. He's got to get, he's a little, you know, looks like he's a little high on the hip, but. And it's going to be difficult does. to sweep an incredibly strong opponent like Thomas. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. We're looking for a Kimura attempt now. Nice. Very nice, nice job Thomas. with Thomas by escaping. That was deep. It was slick. It was, yeah. It was nice and slow and methodical. Didn't rush into it. Yeah, Thomas did a very nice job of escaping that, uh, oh. that arm lock. And now uh, Silva's got an arm bar. Sucked him back in. That's a deep arm bar. That's very That's deep. That's a nasty arm bar. I can't see it from this side, but I don't know if he's got it stretched out or yeah, not. Their backs are to us. Looks like Thomas is doing an okay job of defending, though. But with Silva's advanced level of jiu-jitsu, he's, uh, nice he's going to be short able elbow to transition by, by Thomas. from submission to submission. Yeah. But Thomas is just so strong. Even if you get a submission locked in, it's just so hard to finish. Yeah. You got to, um, I like what Silva's doing. He's keeping patience. He's not, like, 10 seconds left on the clock. He's not uh, overdoing his, he's not reaching. If that yeah. makes sense for his submissions. He's yeah. being very slow and methodical with it. Very high fight IQ by both men. I'm impressed with Thomas's defense with that arm bar. It was pretty deep. Yeah, Silva's jiu-jitsu is no joke. He has a black belt and has had one for, uh, I believe, some time now. Two's about to start. Again, our referee in the cage is Josh Rosenthal. And the cage door is locked, and round two is underway. They touch gloves. Both men look very calm and collected. Oh, huge spinning back kick attempted by Tomas. Spinning back kick, that was nice. Another one, and that one hurt Tomas. That hurt him. He's getting his groove. He's liking it. Guys like Tomas are just so explosive in their striking. All that fast twitch muscle. Yep. Some guys have it, some don't. It's like Tyron Woodley, yep. Conor McGregor. So able to explode at a single moment. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Now make a pay with it. Now Thomas has got uh, having some good head movement here. He's having some success. Not letting Silva really land anything. He's smothering Silva as well. You know, it's it's interesting because Tom, every time Silva comes in, so does Thomas, so he smothers him. He doesn't let him really unload the full reach of his punches. Oh, nice slip of the right by Tomas. Silva's definitely going to want this fight to go to the ground. Yeah. Oh, nice shot by Silva. Right off the cage. Move that head! Some incredible head movement by Tomas. Well, Tomas has got, definitely got the advantage on the stand up. Uh, like how Silva's still out there. Yes, get in the sweep. Oh, and he tries to sweep him. Straight to his shot. It's pretty deep, but Tomas is. Oh, a nice takedown defense by Tomas as well. This is going to be a really hard fight for Silva to pull off. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Tomasa, you know, with that uh, with that takedown defense, he's denying to, uh, Silva the one spot where he really shines. Yeah, exactly. He's not going to allow Silva to work for any of those, uh, those submissions, and Tomas is going to not attempt to take down Silva. He wants the fight standing up, and he can keep it standing up. Yeah, his, ta his takedown defense is really good. I, want, I actually want to see him disengage from being on the cage and let his hands go more. Oh, nice elbow by Silva. Nice. Another elbow by Silva landing. Nice knee by Tom. Oh, huge yeah. head kick by Tomas. Tomas ends up on top. This is not where he wants to be, though. Silva very dangerous from full guard. 
As you can tell from the last one, he almost got a Kimura from guard, got close with an arm bar. So he's active on the ground. He's very, very smooth, very methodical on the ground, like I said before. Very calm, too. Yeah. Again, he's he going for that Kimura. He wants to be. See, you notice every time he goes for that Kimura is when Tomas's arm is actually touching the mat. When you're with the when you're with the jujitsu specialist like Silva, you got to keep your arms tight and close into the belly, on the hips. Oh, oh there, triangle, triangle. Shot. That's it's a deep. deep triangle it is shot. very deep. This is not good for Tomas. Elbows from bottom landing, and Silva needs to adjust and lock his oh, legs tighter. Deep. Oh, he can't. Oh, nice to defend this. Good job by Tomas by defending that. Yeah, Tomas did a good that, job. That You're was in a triangle. You want to posture your body up so that your head can't be pulled down. And Tomas did a very nice job of doing what he had yeah, to do. Yeah, he didn't allow him to, to figure for the head like he should have been getting that that getting that knee. Stay busy, Tomas. Hit, Tomas, hit. Nice elbows from bottom landing by Silva. Very good top control by Tomas. All right. Let's let's see. Tomas, Tomas going for a von flu choke here. Yeah, he is. Well, the only way the von flu choke is going to work is if uh, Silva was actually holding on to the, the, the guillotine. guillotine, right? Silva very smart on the ground. He knows what not to do. Yeah. That guillotine was definitely the wrong hey, Especially hey. on flu choke. I mean, I mean, unless you're Ovin St. Fru. It's not going to work out too well. <laughs> Don't wait too long. You wait too long. Hey, Silva looking for an arm bar again. I like how Silva's staying active. Oh, nice wall walk. Oh. Oh, he doesn't have a security, he doesn't have the head. Ten seconds to go in round nice one. Nice transition by Tomas, a nice attempt by Silva. Ends up on top. <laughs> round number two comes to a close in our third to last professional bout. Just five minutes remaining in this professional bout. Silva looking very, very tired coming to the third and final round. And round number three. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, nice shot landed by Silva. Oh, another. Silva looking to let his hands go. Thomas landed a nice hook, keeping that jab out oh, nice there. Nice jab by Tomas. Oh, beautiful kick to the body by Tomas. Silva stocking Tomas down. He's got that nice plum. Oh, let, let's it go. I'd like to see Tomas get off the cage and let his hands go. He's got, it seems like he's got a better range. And Oh, nice. beautiful head kick by Tomas. I want to see more of those. Move, move. Silva's liking this. He's standing up and banging. I like it. Nice uppercut by Silva. A guy like Tomas, his head movement is just so crisp, so clean. It's just so hard to hit a guy like that. Yeah. Oh, he lands a nice right. What? Nice one, too. Landed by Silva. Nice leg kick by Tomas. Surprised I wasn't being used more by Tomas. Combination by Silva. Tomas is telling Silva to come on, let's go. Oh, huge right hand lands by Silva. Silva's taking this round. Oh, Ooh, nice takedown by Tomas. Securing the legs. That's good, that's perfect. So needs to be now. Take your time, suck him back away from the cage. If Tomas locks up full mount, Silva's in a world of trouble here. But with a guy like Silva, he's probably not too worried about getting full mount. Well, what Tomas I mean, needs to do here is climb up the ladder 
and flatten out his opponent. He's just kind of relaxing here. I believe both men are pretty tired at this point in the fight, and I wouldn't be surprised if referee Josh Rosenthal stops uh, the action and stands him up. Yeah, I agree. I don't see much movement happening right now. Successfully defends his title here at URCC 32. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, for those who've been following along, this is this was a title defense, and the winner, two minutes and 51 seconds in round number three by TKO, referee stoppage due to strikes, and still the lightweight champion of the URCC, Fabricio Guerrero Silva. I am here with your winner and still the URCC lightweight champion of the world, Fabricio Silva. Fabricio, uh, you were losing the fight and you came back and won via TKO. Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, the first the first two halves, I know I lost the fight. I think I can pick up a hand on the ground. Uh, I relaxed a little bit for defense to take in the house. I feel comfortable for the battle. I think I, uh, I can submit to him. But in the third round, uh, I see I lost the two a couple rounds ago. I got to finish the fight. And that's what happened. Well, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Fabricio Silva.